Hello everyone. Today I would like to talk about how strategically cautious Egypt currently is with its funding. So things are improving in Egypt. For example, Moody's uh, at the end of August confirmed the single B rating of the country. And more importantly, foreign investors are finally back on the local bond market because they enjoy a very high level of local yields to enter uh, carry trades. And it is because partly of, of this high level of yields in local debt that Egypt is currently working to diversify its financing base so to be able to reduce uh, market conditions. Egypt has many positive qualities, but its rating is capped by the very large annual government financing need, reaching 30 to 40 percent of GDP. And even though GDP could fall to 2 percent this year, that's the IMF forecast, one can easily understand why access to funding is so crucial for Egypt. So who lends money to Egypt? First of all, the IMF. The IMF granted an emergency loan of $2.8 billion uh, in May, and they granted an additional one of $5.2 billion at the end of June. Uh, secondly, uh, the international bond market is, is uh, lending to Egypt. $5 billion of bonds were issued in May, and Egypt plans to issue seven more billions in new bonds over the next 10 months. Also, we said investors are back on the uh, local market, and this could even uh, accelerate given that Egypt is working hard to be able to deliver on Euroclear its local debt, and also because the country has asked JP Morgan to include its local debt in their indices, which are important benchmarks for investors. So that's a good way also to attract um, new passive investors. Is that it? No, because Egypt is also about to issue its first sukuk bonds, so that's Islamic debt on both local and international markets. And the country is also quite advanced in structuring a green bond issue. That would be the first green bond for the most populated nation in the region, which is also struggling with water supply. And finally, that is not only about bonds, it's also about loans and banking loans. And in that field, Egypt is currently working with a group of local and international banks and is about to get a 2 billion one-year loan. So thanks to the reform Egypt has implemented between 2016 and 2019, uh, it could limit the consequences of the pandemic. But let's, let's, let's face it, Egypt was hardly hit. For example, tourism uh, represents 12% 12, uh, 12 of GDP and 9% of the employment. So Egypt reminds the market that never rests on its laurels and above all, never hesitate to fill up whenever it is possible to do so. Thank you.